I, right, I should talk about the mill, uh, which is where, where digital started. Um, and I think the appropriate word for the environment was funky. It was, um, you know, the, right, the mill, um, I think the oldest buildings in the mill were built roughly 1840, right? It, it started out as a woolen mill, it was built before the Civil War. Um, and at the time that we were in there, um, it hadn't had a whole lot of renovate, right, uh, renovation. I mean, basically, the main, the main difference between um, when it was built um, and when we were in there were a large number of layers of paint um, and the fact that the, all of the floors were soaked in lanolin, which is the oil that, that's, that, that, that's in sheep's wool. Um, people were warned to not wear shoes with natural rubber soles because the oil destroyed the rubber soles. Um, if, you, you know, if you put a stack of paper on the floor, uh, after just a few days, the bottom sheets of the paper would be soaked with oil. Um, we have plenty of spiders. Uh, people used to occasionally have instances of spiders. You know, they have a teacup and a coffee cup sitting on their desk and watch a spider rope down into the coffee cup. Um, the office partitions were all home built. They were, you know, wood frame with 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 masonite, you know, particle board stuff, painted gray. Um, it was an environment where if you didn't like something about it, you fixed it. Um, so there, you know, there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot of formality. At one point, the VMS team moved to a new office area, and you know, we did office moves all the time. And we decided, yeah, okay, the, the the old gray partitions are boring. Our manager brought in about a dozen cans of paint, and we painted our offices. Um, one of my friends, Richie, decided he wanted a door on his office. He found a discarded door or something. You know. uh, other than, you know, they, they, they were your typical open top partitions. They were a little taller than what we have here, but, um, you know, with, with no doors on them. And so he, he found this door um, and went to the hardware store, got some hinges, and, and you know, mounted the door on his office. Um, we decided, okay, well, this needed a little more embellishing, so we, we, you know, we got some dowels, and we came in and we, we, and 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 we installed wooden dowel. The the door had a little window in it. We so we installed these vertical rods um, in the door to make it look like a prison door. Um, the uh, there was no central air conditioning. Um, and um, you know, but we did. You know, there were a lot of air condition. You know, like like large air conditioning units that were just mounted in the windows, um, and they did a pretty good job of 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 you know cooling the outside portions of the building. But the people that were more in the center of the building didn't get a whole lot of cooling, and so what they would do is um, they 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 they'd find um, the trash carts um, at night. And find you know find a cardboard box that the fluore that, that the lighting tubes had come in. You know we, we had these 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 long strip fluorescent lighting fixtures with with eight foot tubes, and they came um, I think they came a dozen to a box, and so the the box had a cross section of about like that, which made it a perfect air conditioning duct. So they would take one of these boxes, open the end, and then just tape the box. To the out, you know, to part of the air conditioner's outlet, suspended from the ceiling, and run it over to their office. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, of course, all right. Every, you know, everything was a little flaky. Um, the uh, we went in in building three in the mill, which was where where VMS engineering was most of its time. Um, we went through at least two power transformers, which you know, typically they were overloaded and they would blow up. Um, and I remember one, one time they replaced the power transformer over a weekend. They got two of the phases connected backwards. The RPO6 drives had three-phase motors in them. Um, and so the RP, you know, when they brought the power back up, all of the RPO6s started turning backwards. Um, fortunately, there was an inter, you know there was some kind of logical interlock in there, and they did not load the head, so we didn't actually lose anything. 